Marty and Marty are back for the last path of Freddy Fish Free. So this time, we're gonna make sure, sure it's right. that's... Oh look, it's Gil Barker again. So I'm checking Horst, not Claw. All right, we need surface. We're not doing the closet again. And... We need the cockpit. Yeah, and the cockpit. The blue crystal. And I guess randomize the wall. And okay. randomize the flag as well. Okay, you selected. So this should. We will do a double check. Yes. Yeah! Cool! That's exactly what we wanted to see. Also, we're gonna be doing this playthrough very fast um, this time. Look at that! It's an. Oh, I guess we couldn't oh. grab it. <laughs> Uncle Blenny! What are you doing in jail? I know, well, it's Luther, like the third the time that this has happened. <laughs> well, Luther, Festival you see, I used to own a motorcycle it. shop, and it turns out I was the one who wrecked the, the motorcycle in the tunnel for El Chapo. I used to that. escape. <laughs> I didn't, didn't realize do it. was wrong. <laughs> wow, that was random. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gil Does anyone Parker. even know about El Chapo? <laughs> Well, I mean, it was in the news, so a few people. Maybe. More than a Oh, that's right. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig oh. a hole all the way to the other side of the world. <laughs> Just like, oh, wow, a shovel. Oh. This is so cool. Does she have hey, something stuck on it? What's yeah. the matter? It's this thing stuck on my tooth. Only 1% of Lady Narwhals grow a tooth, you know. But now it's ruined. Defaced by this metal nut. How'd that oh, nut get tooth? stuck on yeah. there? I thought that More was her nose. Point, how will I ever get it off? Cause like, look Come at on, it, it's like there? above. Yeah, I know, that's what's special thing. about narwhals. They can that's grow like cool. a giant tooth on there. Oh dear, my beautiful tooth. Don't worry, How in the world did you get that on there? That nut? I need to know the backstory for that. She's like, well, I really wanted to get, like, a donut stuck in the uh, bottom of the ocean, but then there was a boat. Like, I can't think of anything. Neither can I. Uh, oh, that's right. It's a work glove, Freddy. The label says it's extra padded for insulation and safety. Yeah. Woohoo! Wow. It's about the size of Luther. <laughs> he could literally just put it on, like, a sleeping yep. bag. That's definitely gonna come in handy. All right, we're in the front house. There's nothing there. I don't think there's anything that Pierre can give us this Wait, time. Wait, I thought there was a feather in there. Yeah, that's just not a decoration on the house. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yep, there we go. There's a golden peg, Freddy. Oh. Ah. Maybe turn it, Luther. Uh-oh. I broke it. No, you didn't, Luther. We just need to find a way to make the handle stay on. All right, that'll be easy enough. Look, all four purple sea urchins already, kid, folks. <laughs> Clearly, we're this is very fast. Well, yeah, that's the escape key for you. Ah, it's the baby again. Yeah, I came all so this way cute. literally just to see it. Aww. Hey, hey. Ready hey, monkey. Key. Good eye, Luther. That wasn't there the other two times we played. Freddy Fish and Luther are just going back in time over and over again. But, like, by going back in time, they, like, change the course. They alter of, the chip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this clearly is canon that that happens. This is Back to the Future Freddy Fish Edition. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll call the episode. Hey, dude. <gasps> oh, boy, whose wallet? Please, not Uncle Blenny's. Hey, look! There are loads of orange sea urchins in this wallet! We're rich, rich, rich! Orange sea urchins are gold. This wallet doesn't belong to us, Luther. According to this identification card, it belongs to someone who used to be the Grand Exalted Keeper of the Conch. I'll hold really? on to it until we Really? <laughs> what are the odds that we get that three times in a row? I have no clue. This key oh, look. looks like Yeah, a bunch of stuff in the plane this time. That lock. I don't know how the monkey randomly had the key that opened the plane, but... I don't know. Again, I want backstory for all this stuff. <laughs> Luther, we got one of the golden pipes. Yeah, oh, we did. Right. Nice job, Freddy. Now we need just 
Who's with, with this more music? Golden pipes for old Dolly to pick this is near the boys' den. den, so it's got oh. creepy music. Luther, that no! is also a plane. Ouch! If we want those flyers, we'll have to find a safer way to get them out of that plant. Oh, that's a plant? I was like, what did the what did the co-pilot have that was that spiky? Heavy-duty glove can protect me from that prickly plant. <gasps> All set. This is basically the water we see. Stand back, citizen. This is a job for mighty fish. Okay, that is definitely going to be the thumbnail. Like, oh, yeah. I don't see any way something could top that. Luther, you got the flyers, but are you okay? Well, but next time, I'm using a stunt double. <laughs> like Uncle Blanny. Meanwhile, he's looking a bit depressed. Just a bit. I don't think they're too upset that we're not having a festival. <laughs> no, they're like, yeah, you know, festival, the festival is stupid anyway. Alright, fine, Claw, get out of there. All right, he has the fork backpack. That makes sense. Hey, dude. Here's your wallet, Uncle Blenny. I mean, here's your wallet, Uncle Blenny. <laughs> <laughs> we threw it in your jail cell. <laughs> uh, where was I going? Oh, yeah, Nadine. Thank you. I wish I could get this metal nut off my tooth. I wonder how short this episode's gonna be. We'll <laughs> yeah, we need to make it longer. Somehow. We'll figure out a way. Oh, this looks like a painful dental surgery. Okay. Oh, Rapture. I'm normal again. This might come in handy. But don't okay, worry, I no swear. Oh, I was like, did she just say, oh, Rapture? Yeah. Gee, okay. Thanks, Freddy. No, I, I was. Think. I was gonna say, I swear Gil Barker sells us that exact nut in Freddy Fish 4. That sounds about right. This is the only thing I really remember. Oh, really? I remembered all the songs. Although I didn't realize, like, that they were all impersonating different things. What is that one impersonating? I don't know what that one's impersonating, but, like, there's the one that's, like, Elvis. There's the one that's kind of like Grease. That was the Elvis one. Well, then Here, what I'll about show the... you. See, they got like the grease outfits. Sort of. Looks like Danny Zuko. But like, look at look at the one like under the water is the place on me. Look at that. That totally looks like grease. That looks more like Glee. Glee wasn't well, out. High when School this came Musical. Out. That also wasn't out when this came out. Yeah, I know. High School Musical clearly maybe, ripped maybe, off that one maybe musical. Maybe Grease too. Oh wait, that's the one we already saw. Don't go sneaking around the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. He just Great wanted to singer. say that. When I want to go down to the bottom, Wow, that's really amazing. They can sing without opening their mouths. That is very impressive. They're actually a ventriloquist, so they can uh, Oh, they have different hairdos. Yeah, I they literally all do never do that. One of them looks I, like I Ice Cream Cone. <laughs> that, like that's it. her code name. Ice Cream Cone. Pelican Sam, we need the book. Okay, let's talk to the tourist. Yeah. Freddy, I can't understand a word that foreign tourist is saying. Freddy, I can't Don't be rude, Lou, Freddy. He might be Freddy, why can't, can't he just speak English? <laughs> Alright. What kind of language can you be speaking? It's obviously a made up one. Uh, that one. <laughs> Clearly not the ones that are the silver ones. May we please have the Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? No. <laughs> you went all that way to communicate with him. Razaku Masuk, here I bring in so the Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feather so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. How come he can now just speak English? Because he was using the book, which was translated for him, basically. Uh. But then he could instantly answer. I know, it probably doesn't make sense, but... He's like, oh, you just have to push the button. <laughs> Thank you, Why Mr. do all the button boxes have such weird names? I have no clue. We can use this nut to hold the handle on. Yeah, we can. Oh. 
How did the golden pipe get there? I don't know, it was probably safe. Why didn't he hide all the golden pipes at the, the base? Oh, well, I guess you missed one cutscene, it's fine. I've been skipping the cutscenes we've seen yeah. over and over again. Well, that's we fine. did it, Freddy! Yeah, we did. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, everybody has the exact same, like, Aztec hideout. Oh, I guess Luther got stuck. Yeah, Luther got stuck because he was greedy and stuff. Again, once you know how to beat these Yuvagas Entertainment games, it's very, very easy to do so. To use the escape key. Does that guy have a mustache or is that his mouth? That's his mouth. I like uh, to think he has a mustache. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong way. So I'm not winning the speed running trophy this time, but. It's okay. Blue! Um. He's like, hey, Freddy. Just wanted to let you know. I think you're pretty rad. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, remover. Yay! Luther! I'm free! <laughs> we can take the gem with Let's us. Put that jewel back. How much, would, how much would that gem be worth? I have no clue. Oh, that's the way they came in. I thought they yeah, came in from got, the right. Yeah, it got locked. I thought they Look, came in from the right. Oh, maybe they did. No, they came in from the right. Back. Oh, they just needed the clue. <gasps> <gasps> That's not the clue we what fought? We it was clogged. That would be funny. That, that would also be- are you kidding me? Yeah. Sure. I think I would- I would- Yeah, I was in charge. This would never have happened. No conch show means no festival. And I just polished my tooth. Oh, the colossal <laughs> irony of it all. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bomb a piece of my mind. Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent. Claw's always like, let's beat him up. It's like, wow. Back. When we looked inside, we found a visitor's map, which means the <laughs> which means Gil Barker was a visitor. He's like, look at Gil Barker's eyes. He's like, it wasn't me. Please don't pick me. <laughs> The I wonder what happened if you picked someone else. In the back. Hang on, hang on a second. <laughs> Artie and Mart, sorry. Okay. What if we picked the wrong person? Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Nadine the Narwhal? A thief? What an utterly preposterous idea. Why, if you weren't so little and green and cute, I, I'd never speak to you again. Oh, Most gee, if it wasn't Nadine, then who's the thief? <laughs> Rosie. It must be Pierre. Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Pierre the Tailor? Look at his face. I am Pierre the Tailor. Pierre the Genius. Not Pierre the Common Crook, you silly little green fish. Oh, I, I like to. Wasn't Pierre, even if it was my computer, it just paused there for a few seconds. I, I like to think he would just be a. Like, yeah, just like, are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Gil Barker? No, I'm afraid you're barking up the wrong tree, half pint. Oh, snap. Now get a move on, get out of the way before you ruin my whole business day. Oh. Rosie, it's gotta be her. Who else will put on that she's much lipstick? Thief. She's a performer. She probably travels. Wait it's a true. minute. Could the thief possibly be Rosie Pearl? I got a watertight alibi. I was on stage when the crime was committed. And every fish in the audience will vouch for me. Oh, he actually had a very good reason. Everyone else is just like, no, I'm not. Okay, it's look at his face. He's like, uh, it's <laughs> not me. <laughs> He's like, oh, please, please, just don't pick me. Wait a minute. <laughs> Could the thief possibly be Claw the Bully? Oh no! The Claw ain't gonna get pinched for something he didn't do! I'm clean, I tell ya! Right down to my underwear! Gee, if it wasn't Claw, then who's the thief? It must be Nadine now. For spanners, you're the thief. That map of a visitor belong put to anybody. You have on me nothing. Oh no? <laughs> that took Sonia long enough. Okay. Maybe something on me you do have. 
confess I must. I thought would not it make a great souvenir, also make a great hearing aid for my old silver-haired granny. I no idea had it was so valuable. It doesn't matter whether the conch is valuable or not. You should never take things that don't belong to you. And I'm sure well, your old silver-haired granny that, would agree with yeah. me. Forgive, please, my action. Oh, he actually, like, it seems regretful. Horse is most sorry. I return you to the great conch. Uncle Plenty, we're sorry. Uncle Plenty, we we're sorry we locked you up okay. and beat you, tried to beat you up without any evidence. That's okay. I'll just sue you Thanks all later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and old son. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? <laughs> Please yes, just yes, don't yes. lose them again, oh, Uncle Bunny. This is the third year in a row. <laughs> 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 it's okay, horse feathers. Oh boy, what's his punishment? Because he stole the great conch for his granny, Horst was convicted on a 525 granny larceny. As punishment, Horst was sentenced to write a new foreign language phrase book that wasn't nearly as silly as the one he had on this trip. Case closed. That doesn't seem so bad. No, it doesn't seem too bad. I feel like that's something he would actually, like, enjoy. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. Also, he probably had, like... <laughs> So what I would almost want to do, because I have no idea how much time you have in this video. This is a very short this one. This is a very Medi. short one. One thing you could do is you could cut out all the footage from like the next playthrough and just show off one more person getting arrested. I'll just show off the rest. Hang on, I can totally do that. You can? Yeah. Let's do it. So we just go to room 44. Uh, we need to see Nadine. Yeah, we'll do that. That is the wrong one. Room 43? Nope. Room 42, this must be it. Yeah, let's go to Endgame. I here came to for this. Disappointed my old. <laughs> Perfect, let's just <laughs> the show the music. If not snapshot, I bring. Has he dropped <laughs> The music is totally bed. inappropriate when for the we background. Look inside, yep. we it's so an enormous toothbrush, which means <laughs> the thief. And Look at Gil Barker's smile. It must be him. Yeah, he's got perfect teeth. Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be horse? <laughs> Not was me. Gee, if it wasn't horse, then he could be <laughs> He can't disprove it. Nadine, you're the thief. Oh, that could have been anybody's whale-sized toothbrush in that <laughs> guy. You haven't got anything on me. Ouch! Oh no? Is Nadine young for an Arwal or is she full no. grown? Okay, so you do have something on me. I confess, I accidentally knocked over the great conch shell with my tooth. And when the golden pipes fell out, I was afraid it was beyond repair. So I... I... hid the evidence of my dental indiscretion. When we do something wrong, we have to face up to it. Trying to cover up only makes things worse. Avoiding responsibility like... and trying to hide your mistake nearly ruined the whole festival. I should have been honest about everything. Well, that was accidental, I guess. Also, it's like, oh, she hit the great conch shell. <laughs> I just went everywhere. Here's the great conch shell. No, I think oh, she said she hit it. Check it out, living sorry, purposely. We blame yeah. you. That's okay. <laughs> For violating penal code 121, Nadine was convicted in what came to be known as the Narwhal Gate cover-up. As punishment, she was sentenced to many long hours of public service teaching fish how to brush and floss. Case closed. Alright, uh, that's a weird punishment, but yeah, okay, I guess I can see it. Check out old Soggy dancing. Oh yeah, do that. Alright. Okay. Next up, Pierre! Oh yes, it clearly must be Pierre. And then we just go to Hush Game again. The thief, <laughs> the thief, the thief. Oh, All the happy music. When we looked inside, <laughs> we found <laughs> red and a sewing needle. <laughs> Pierre! We <laughs> just paused! <laughs> Ridiculous! That could have been anybody's thread on sewing Yeah, Claw might band. have taken up sewing. Yeah, he could have. You have nothing on me. 
Oh la la! Oh no? I love how the dog is just running. It's just going more slowly. Right. Uh -huh. uh, maybe you do have something on me. I confess. The great conch is the ultimate expression of exquisitely good taste. It would have made the ultimate accessory for my latest and greatest fashion creation. The great conch isn't just an ornament. It's an important part of life under the sea. Under the sea? <laughs> also, being great at something you do doesn't give you the right to do bad things. And no matter how you look at it, stealing is bad. That was the dumbest I reason ever to steal. It's like, I find it good on one of my hats. Yep. <laughs> Come on, Pia. I am a sorry needlefish. I return to you, the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. He's <laughs> 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 like, yeah. Pierre was convicted of breaking Penal Code 919 for only thinking of himself. As punishment, Pierre was sentenced to 4,284 hours of public service, sewing hand puppets for underprivileged humpback whales. Case closed. Okay. What? Yeah, that was on par with Gil Barkers. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is a freaking long time to be so But animals. he didn't have a very good reason. Like That's the true. other ones the other ones oh, it was kind Gil of like Barkers is like the worst reason of all. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. We have one more. Yes, we have just one more, Rosie. Your favorite. Not really my favorite, just she's an actor. Actress. 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 No, Alright, it's a microphone! <laughs> what do you mean? Gil Barker could take it out singing. First, would like to sing a little song. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> the I think that looks fits perfectly in Claw's hand. Right? Kind of. Well, I have a terrific announcement, folks! At Gil Barker's stand, everything is full price. Evidence? Rosie Pearl, you're the thief. That could have been anybody's microphone in that bag. Stop you puffing out your cheeks. <laughs> oh no? The dog's just like, I'm gonna bite everybody. Okay, yep. so maybe you do have something on me. Whoa, her mole is like fact, popping up over her The lips Great Conch Shell is a real crowd pleaser. I figured I could have a full house every night if I used it in my show. Everyone maybe, would know who was in there. But yeah. Conch made everyone else unhappy. It's selfish to do something you want when it hurts other people. And it's just plain wrong to steal. I acted like a second-class entertainer. Look at the purple fish in the upper right corner. Yes. I am sorry. Here it is. The Great Cod Show. Uncle Blenny. <laughs> Rosie was convicted of violating Penal Code 682 for wrongful conch napping. She was sentenced to 4,231 hours of public service helping humor impaired fish to be funny. Case closed. <laughs> wow! Some of these punishments are incredibly steep. And then Horse Feathers kind of got off pretty easy. Yes. Yeah. Horse Feathers is just like, eh, I'm gonna go write a book. Yeah, and like everyone else is like, oh, you have to like publicly humiliate yourself for a year. And like, oh, you have to work like a year with like public service. It's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's really too. <laughs> All right, well, that's, I think, pretty much everything you can show off in Freddy Fish Free. So we're going to leave the series for there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Color Farty. And I'm Marty. And I hope to see you for our next Let's Play together. Have a great day and God bless. Are you all dead?